I'm going to talk very briefly to you about how mirror neurons play out. Okay, so what are mirror neurons? So mirror neurons are a relatively recent discovery uh, and they were dis uh, discovered in a very interesting way in, uh, by a scientist in a lab by accident in Italy, right? So the experimenters uh, were actually studying, so till then usually, you know, scientists have been studying one human brain at a time in the lab. <laughs> so, um, so they were studying the effects, they were looking, studying the brain of a monkey and they were mapping out different brain regions of the monkey so you know so there was a lab assistant who was really you know keeping track of if the monkey does this action and this part of the brain is fired if it does that and this part of the brain is fired and they were monitoring all of that so this was during a break in the experiment when the lab assistant noticed that the part of the brain that was firing up what was showing on the screen should not have been firing up because that part of the brain was usually associated with the monkey's arm movement. When the monkey moved its arm up and down, the a certain brain or part of the brain was firing and that was firing but the monkey was still, the monkey was not doing anything. So he called up the professor and said there's something wrong, there's something wrong either with our previous mapping or there's something wrong with the way we have wired this monkey up. And they checked everything and it seemed to be okay and then they just happened to notice what is the monkey doing? The monkey was intently gazing outside the window and it happened to be a hot day and there was another lab assistant standing outside the window who was eating a janitor right? and he was moving his hand up and down and as the monkey was gazing intently at this other person who was moving his hand up and down the monkey's brain cells which were usually associated with the monkey's hand, own hand movements were lighting up on the screen. And that led to the discovery of mirror neurons. Have been very interesting, right? So after that, scientists started getting two people into the lab together and, you know, making them interact and looking at their brains. And yes, we are that social. We, so, so when next time you're talking to a friend, you might think that you're talking to your friend, but a, you are talking to your friend, but your brain is also talking to your friend's brain, even without knowing it. And we pass on moods, we pass on thoughts, we actually pass on our neural configurations, yeah, to other people. And that, that's the presence of mirror neurons. So mirror neurons can actually help you out and through social interactions.